Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Lenore von Stein, and this is yet another episode of The Facts. The, the center of The Facts is, is, is music, music, music and stories combined. Uh, but there's also episodes of discussion, and this is one of them. And this is a particularly unusual one because it's from, I'm sitting here with three of the people that work behind the camera normally on The Facts, uh, but today they're sitting with me, you know, in front of the camera. And, Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> and um, so um, um, Robert Casimir, uh, Christopher Prophet, and uh, Justin Goldberg. And um, Justin has been with us a short time. Uh, Christopher and I have worked together quite a lot. You're an editor on The Facts, correct? Yeah, yeah editor. I also like, like to do motion graphics, too. So I'm trying to do like uh, kind of like the little effects, if I can, for the show and other things. So I like to do a little all the post production aspect. That's why I kind of like. Okay, and 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 Robert, you're a you're a camera person. Yes. Yes. And uh, do you have an art? Uh, is there an art form, or is you're a crafts it's person? It's more like technical. I've been trying to get into the more technical field, not necessarily the art art field. I mean, I've done some like films for at school, but it's starting to become more and more technical. What I'm trying to seek. <laughs> and 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 so, what, why are you doing this to to extend your abilities um, or to like enhance my resume more and get some of the skills that I've been like get my skills up and all that because you know I've gone through college, gone through a broadcasting school, an internship, and now this it's you know to enhance my resume to get myself more out there you know more experience. That's that's the it's hard word. getting these jobs. Yes, in this, yes, yes, it's, it's, very, it's hard. very hard getting jobs in this field and yeah. for for on the on the. On the bef in front of the camera as well as behind the camera aspect, it's it's you know I mean jobs are hard you know lots of jobs are hard right in the United States but yeah. these jobs have been hard for a long yes. time yeah. you know to mm -hmm. to move forward in this is yeah. what what would you like to do? Um, pretty much behind the scenes stuff, camera work, possibly editing work, possibly stuff in the uh, in the booth, like maybe become a di technical director one day. Cause, you know I've I've been enjoying that since I've. My time here, I've been enjoying working with the cameras, working with the uh, switchers. It's, it's, it's experience that I didn't get at my last internship that I hope to get here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And where do you see yourself? Would you, would you like to be working? I mean, for editors, editors a lot. You know, it's, sometimes you get hired full time. For a lot of people on crews, it's it's. Uh, it's project by project work, you know. You're, you're, mm -hmm. in terms of money coming in, it's mm -hmm. delicate situation. Even if you're in the mix of people who get hired, um, so do you see yourself working project to pro? What, what do you have a plan? Well, I, my plan is I like to work for like a, maybe a post production house doing like um, editing and motion graphics or animation. I mean, what I've been seeing online, the jobs right now, there are people who are looking for people who just pretty much are like a jack of all trades who know how to do editing. They also had to know how to do like little effects, who know how to do a little bit of um, camera work. Like they want, I guess because there's maybe there's more small production houses than there are big ones. So they want people to be, you know, get their hands on everything. So I'm mostly want to do the, like the behind the scenes, like the post-production aspect, but that's where I really want to go. It's do is like um, animation, do the visual effects and the editing of it. and see where that takes me. So the work in these post-production houses, they're doing commercials and they're doing, is that, that's mostly what they're doing in corporate stuff and as well as, as well as entertainment things. But yes, in New, I think in New York City, it's mostly like a lot of more com commercials and stuff. And um, I think we've got down to Hollywood or California, it's like more um, film and uh, maybe small television because it's like the, where the, the studios, bigger studios are down in Hollywood. So I think New York is like more advertising, more um, some commercial stuff as well in the city. So I'm here in New York, so I'll try to get there. Maybe eventually go to California and move on to something else. <laughs> right now, the funds are not providing that for me. Yeah, it's it's it's. Yeah, it, it, so. Do you see yourself working in a, working in this field? Is that? Yeah, I think audio post production houses is where 
I'm really trying to trying to attack and trying to work at. I've I've interned at one and I'm an on call freelancer at at that same one right now and I'd really like to break into that field and get a full time job doing that. That's what really interests me because there's a lot of different things from recording to mixing to doing sound design and foley stuff and it's it's very interesting to me and it's what I like. I'm going to ask you just because you two guys weren't here before, and I, I just want to repeat this endlessly because about establishment shots. <laughs> what do you think about establishment shots? I think they're good in small doses. I mean, they're more for like setting up, not really telling the story. You know, they're like setting up the story and like going from there. So I want to use them all the time because, you know, you want to be more personal, not like all over the place. So. But you, you, do, you are pro-establishment shots. I'm like pro to a point. I mean, don't use it all the time, but just use it to set up and maybe like end your story. Yourself? <laughs> I think we had a discussion before. Huh? Uh, I think we had a discussion before. I'm, I'm pro-establishing shot. I mean, I, I'm pro all shots. I think um, from what I was told and when I did this like, animation, everyone told me like each shot has a purpose and each shot is, tells a story. And like an establishing shot is good because not only it helps um, gets the audience to understand where you are, but sometimes like let's say for this, let's say if you take this for example, if we just use like close up shots, we do we get the essence of what's going on, like us discussing. But an establishing shot kind of gets you the idea of like this is like like a round table, more of an intimate feel. So it's, people say this is more of an intimate instead of just like uh, someone just doing an interview. It's more like a just a like people just coming together and just talking. So, so, so wait a minute, so, so let's say that the shot was like close up, mm -hmm. close up, close up, close up, and you didn't see the relationship. There'd be like these, are you saying there'd be like four talking heads or something? Yeah, I think it would, people won't get the idea. I think idea. that's good. Well, it depends what you're going for. Yeah. I think that's... It, it I, always depends on the story and always depends exactly. on what Exactly. An establishment shot, establishment. I think, has its place in yeah. certain yeah. contexts, maybe yeah, not. If that's you see goal. what I'm up against, ladies it and gentlemen. Sets up, it sets up everything. <laughs> Being an established shot, yeah. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Here we go. <laughs> Being an established shot, people say it's boring, but each shot is usually don't doesn't last. Each shot usually takes like five seconds. So establishing shot, if you just it's just five seconds, it goes by fast. You're not gonna get bored and fight, and you move on to a different shot. Then it's, it's not something you're gonna get, get like tired of it. Oh wow, well, this is taking too long. If you stay too long in an establishing <laughs> shot, yeah, it's gonna be like. Wow, this is taking forever. What's going? What's happening? But if you if five seconds go by so fast when you're looking at a at a film or in a, in a, te a television show, you're not really going to notice it that long. So when establishing a shot, let's say this goes by five seconds, already moves on to another shot, and you're already onto something else, maybe a close up to you, and it's like keeps the audience engaged. I want all the pictures to be pretty pictures, to be beautiful pictures, to be compelling pictures. <gasps> <laughs> this is show business, show yeah. business talk, the right? Uh, so sitting here, so, magically, um, Robert Casimir is gone, and Scott Henkel, who is the director of tonight's uh, episodes, and uh, also has been our sound man and has been editing with me, and he's been working on the facts for quite a while. He's like a center pole in this organization at this point. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, so, um, oh. And a pleasure. Mm -hmm. What do you think of establishment shots? I am pro establishment shot. Oh I my mean, God. Yeah. Like many of the other people, it's, you know, it's not something you want to stay on unless it's like more of a news show, uh, in which case you will stay on like the group shot for longer. But you do need to, at some point, give, you want to give your audience enough comfort to settle in and stay, because if you if you keep pulling the chair away from someone as they try to sit down, at some point they're going to want to sit somewhere else. So so folk limiting the information, which is a term that somebody who works on the show used, and I thought that was a very good one. That limiting the information is a compelling is compelling. That giving too much information is can be confusing especially when something is very complicated for instance like the music episodes well you're not staying on the shot that's what i'm saying you're not staying on the shot for an extended period of time if you are staying on a shot for let's say establishing shot for 11 10 12 seconds 
and you just it, it gets boring. And if a lot of things are going on during the same time, it will get confusing. But if you just stay on establishing shot, five seconds goes by, like five seconds by. Usually a shot that lasts five seconds, and that goes by really fast. Usually if you stay for like five seconds in establishing shot just to get an idea of what's going on, and then you move on to another shot, let's say a close-up or another shot, then usually the audience just gets knows what's going on, and then they can assimilate what's happening easier. And they can understand like, okay, this is like, oh, let's say, in like this venue right here, is the, these are people around who just, let's say, people just come together to discuss art or discuss establishing shots instead of just, <laughs> instead of just discussing like, let's say, if it's just close up to me and you, it's just like, okay, maybe she's doing just an interview and it's like she's just interrogating someone or something like that. But now, with the Stanley shot, it's more of a like a relaxed atmosphere. You get to feel like, okay, this is a, a more of a relaxed feeling instead of just like back and forth talking. Relaxed? Do you think it relaxes the audience? I think depending it, on the it, shot. I think he's being specific to what this what, is. Yeah, what For this th is. You show the establishing shot of this. We're all in chairs. There's no desk. You have a cup of water. Your glasses are on the stool. You know, everyone's in a more relaxed position, hands in the lap kind of thing. But if we stayed on just, you know, the chest shots, you know, the medium shots of all of us, for all we know, it's like he said, we're, we may be interrogating each other and it may seem a little more tense if that's all you're staying with. It pro the establishing shot provides context. The analogy I can give is, you know, it's the first day of classes. You have the lost freshmen wandering around the lecture hall looking for each one trying to make sure they're in the right lecture hall. If, you know, if the professor's in there, they have the first slide up, you know, Bio 101, Com 101, you don't wind up with like what I had during one of my uh, first classes where we were in the first 10 minutes of the lecture when all of a sudden someone blurts out, and this was a communications class, they're like, this isn't Biology 110, <laughs> and gets up and walks out and totally disrupts everything. And if, they, if there had been more establishment of this was, you know. So if the guy had written on the blackboard, this is da da, -da Exactly. Class. That's the establishment that you know where you are, come have a seat. That's what it's for. It's to provide that context. Once they're in the seat, once they're, they, they're in their seat, and I know I'm switching analogies to movies now, once they're in the seat, they have their popcorn, they have their drink in the, in the holder, then you disorient them. Then you throw the extreme close-ups, the Michael Bay blowing things to smithereens everywhere fast cuts, all of that, then you can, once they're physically comfortable, you can then start to make them mentally uncomfortable. Mm. I think I'm winning you over. <laughs> no, I, no, I'm not, I, you know, what I'm thinking, I just want to, made me think of some, this thing, this, this modern stuff of, you know, like in a, in a, in a little video for a record, you know, with these very fast cuts, because it seems to me they don't have much else but these very fast cuts. The quickness of these cuts is a big part of, I mean, that's really, they haven't got much content, you know, so mm -hmm. the, the quickness of the cuts is what's delivering the, the, message. the excitement, the message. That's all there is. There isn't anything there. Um, so, um, well, I don't know. What do you but think a, about that? Well, the music videos are, are like are different than on television. Like it's, it's, a music video, those are, the cuts for a music video is completely different than something we would use for a television show like this one. That's the reason. I mean, they're fast, they're quick, and they just they want you to. Mainly, it's the artists and the music they're really trying to focus on, and then it makes it a little more like oh, okay. I don't want to say interesting, but it gets you more up in your seat. But if, like for a venue like this, I want to, if like being an editor, I want to do those kind of cuts for this kind of show because it's completely the atmosphere and the, the well, I say the motif for this show is completely different. This is just a more of a, of a discussion, more of a relaxed, more kind of like integrating conversation where you want to just get an idea of what's going on and want to engage the, the, engage the, the the characters a little more. So a music video, like like someone was telling me, like my, my uh, animating professor, like each shot has a purpose. You, you don't take like, just you don't just look at it like, okay, well, I take one shot from this like movie and I'm gonna just do, do it, put it in my kind of movie, the same kind of way, the same kind of like idea. You want to, you, you have to analyze what kind of message you're trying to get across 
and what kind of message you want to tell the audience? I think I think that I want to I want to make a mention because because what I you know when I'm looking at music videos or most movies or most TV, the messages that are that are being tried to get across are very conventional messages. You know, we got a, we got a, you got a little. You got a little sex. You got a little train. You got a little this. You got a little that. It's 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 it's, it's these are corporate conventional messages that are being fed across to people. No, people don't agree with me here. For like in terms of like what people are trying to. The I mean, sex. you could almost it could almost it could almost you know the girl, the guy, the train, the car, mm. the hat. The, I don't know what it is. You know, it's there's there's. In the words of Gertrude Stein, there's no there there. You know, there's 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 so little, at least that I can find, so little. And I think in my generation, we didn't have music videos, but I didn't find much in that music anyway. Even you know, I, I tried. Uh, um, but um, now that we've established, this has been about establishment. Shots. Okay, well let's talk about something. So, do you think of yourself? You're you're, you're really an audio guy, right? You're you're Stone Audio. Yeah, I've tried to venture into video a little bit, as you can see by trying to direct tonight. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll see how this comes out. Mm. A little nervous. But but you you when you in our early conversations you you said it was very interesting that you were interested in radio. Radio seems like, I mean, I don't drive a car, so you know I don't have I don't appreciate radio in that sense. I I know that people listen to radio who don't drive cars. You know, my mother mm -hmm. used to listen to the radio all the time. Um, but I never even think of radio. I'm, I'm not a radio person either. I mean, I, my sister's more of a radio person than I am. I'm more of a television person, but I guess that's what, like, I guess she has a passion for it. I mean, I mean, everyone has a passion for something different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, you really like radio, right? I mean, it's the, one of the, other than, you know, print, it's one of the original you know, live, it is the original live medium because print is, you know, was has never been live until the internet, then you can just publish immediately. But, you know, there's something to the power of sound. And even, even with the visual mediums, television, movies, um, web video, a lot of it is still driven by the sound. Especially, you know, as we get into more automation, CGI, if you watch an animation with the sound off, you can't tell what's going on most of the time. And there, are, especially if it's comedy, a lot of the jokes you're not going to get at all because all of the context is in the audio. The audio I, leads the yeah, video. Yeah. I, I do think, I, th I think, I think, I, 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 like when I would listen to things on, radio and then I would see these people in real life. My, my, my imagination, you know, what, was, what I had created from this, this radio experience was often different from what the video experience, the live, you know, the picture was. And it was better, my, my, what my imagination did. It allowed my imagination to fly more than when mm -hmm. they put this picture there yeah. to go with it. Yeah, you can. I feel like you can bring it more into your own life and focus on whatever you think it is, where whatever your imagination takes you. And like an example is just driving in the car. You're looking, you're driving, but then you have this soundtrack going to it to making your drive more interesting. And I know with me, when I'm driving around, the visuals and um, what's really happening in front of me and the music somehow merge together and it you feel a story and, and it's easier to make it your own rather than when I'm watching TV, that's it, that's what I'm doing. They're telling the story Ex to exactly. you. Exactly, it's 100% laid out, but radio and, and podcasts now is coming along too. You can go about your day, do something, focus on two things or merge them together in whatever way. There's a reason that a lot of the most hardcore fans of book series often have a lot of issues with how they're played out in movies yeah. because, it, you know, a lo you, b you build things up in your mind based off reading it or hearing it because your mind fills in the visuals and it can fill them in in ways that would be impossible, to, um, impossible, impractical, too expensive to do on, you know, 
in video. And I deal with I dealt with that a lot with uh, the job I work in working for a radio network. A lot of the sales guys I worked with also have on air experience. They have these on air vo- these great on air voices. They're all people in in offices not in New York, so I've only heard them. And each person, when I saw like a picture of them the first time for the first time on like their LinkedIn profiles, that kind of thing, I was kind of su- each one I was surprised to see the face, you know, the person that matched the voice I would hear over the phone. So how do we, in this video, uh, these, these videos we're making, how do we, uh, how do we uh, employ people's imaginations with these pictures, similarly to the way sound can? How do we use photography to make, uh, to make, to make a, a, a something that, you know, aside from we have the content, so this extra layer of, of, of the story, the photography, and, and then the editing of the photography, mm-hmm. how do we make this photography more um, imagination friendly? Well, you can do the best way of doing that, I think, is by always alluding to what's not there, what's missing, because that's what your mind will always try to fill in. When you're reading or listening, your mind's trying to fill in a lot of the video, you know, the visual. I mean, it's the better word to use, visual. But with a, vid- a vid- visual medium, a video, you know, what the mind's trying to fill in is what's hinted at, but not explicitly so stated. So we should take pictures of like the lights or not the, what the people who are performing, we should take a picture of the side of the- I'm having a hard time pulling that out of the abstract that I just presented. <laughs> but I, I think, think that that could be interesting too. You have something, you're out, in, out of focus and it comes down in staring. At these chairs, at why are at these the empty chairs line. behind exactly. us? <laughs> I think That's that can play their into imagination. An, yeah, to an artistic purpose and get that imagination. That, but that also that brings me to thinking of music videos, because that's where you see it a lot more than I guess a television performance. And but I think it'd be interesting and and it also draws. Sorry to interrupt. Oh. It also draws a lot on suspense when you read like mm-hmm. forums for a series that always left a lot of what's happening next in suspense to those who haven't read the books when you think of uh, even you know a sitcom that just ended how i met your mother the the mystery was always how did he meet you know how did you meet the mother and then of course everyone hated the finale but you know part of that is the the imagination is filling in what's happening next think of lost and there was there's some other series like that where people are on these forums like oh, I think this or what they said or this part of this the setting means this is going to happen next or this was the backstory. That's what they're trying to fill in, what's not there, what's not explicitly stated in so, the video. So, I mean, I, 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 I've, gotten some, I've gotten this idea from this, you know, if, way to, I mean, I started with, you know, my, my ax constantly to grind the establishment shot that I loathe so much. Uh, so the this idea of, how, of, of uh, how we make, we, we have content that I think, I hope, you know, and, and, and continues to develop, uh, but I think it's, uh, that, that is imaginative and, and, and that sense may, you know, it, like if somebody walks away from one of my music shows, I, I like it sometimes when, they, when I was performing live all the time, they'd say, sometimes people would say to me, oh, that made me think about my, what happened with my sister or that made me, you know, that it, that it, that it, that it engenders in them ideas uh, about other things having nothing to do with the show, but it, it helped, in, you know, that's, I like that. Um, so, ha- you know, so making that a, a part of the experiment of the facts, the pictures of the facts, to, to, to give people, using, this, using the, the template that you, light, you laid out here, that they, the, what's exciting about radio is what's what's imaginative friendly about radio is that you have to fill in stuff you know you have, mm-hmm. you're thinking about what you don't have access to I don't see the picture of the person here well here we are seeing the picture how can we make the picture more I just you know I mean at the point when 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 artists painters uh, went from uh, drawing pictures of people to drawing abstracts, uh, you know, because 
that what more abstract because it got to a point where they thought, you know, one of the ideas was, well, you know, I, I'm drawing this face, it's beautifully rendered, but I can't really see who that person is, what it's like to be that person. I get stuck at that face, no matter how beautifully insightful my drawing may be. I have to, I want to know what it's like to be that person, to think as that person, to go behind the eyes of that person. And so they stopped making, um, uh, many people stopped making realistic portraits. They were drawing feelings, and you know, music is all about feelings. They were drawing what it's like to be that person or what they think it's like, you know, whatever, you know, but not the realistic picture because the realistic picture was a blockade to them understanding that person. It, it's, that we've reached the end of the line in, uh, and we've almost reached the end of the line of the show too. We've reached the end of the line in, 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 in being able to just look at a face. Oh, it's a, and 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 get sufficient information from that. That that feeds us. We, it, it, I mean, this happened at the beginning of the twentieth century, yeah. in painting. Mm -hmm. um, so. Uh, hmm, um, I well, I, I like what like I think like what he was saying before. It's like music kind of like takes like enhances what uh, like pictures what those pictures do. It, it gives you like if you're an artist and you have one a, a person to feel a certain way, the music you choose helps you because pictures could be abstractive. It could mean you take a picture of one thing. It could mean something. You use it for so many different reasons. A close up of this or of a picture of a chair, could, you can use it to mean one thing and someone else can use it to mean another. But if you add music to it and a specific type of music, then you, it's a, you, you get the person to feel what you want them to feel. But I, I really, the kind of music we're doing here, we're, we're not trying to make, I'm not trying to make anybody feel what I want them to feel. I don't know what I want them to feel. You know, I, I just, I want to tell the truth. And mm. uh, I think we've got 30 seconds or we've got, We've got a little bit of time. We've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. It's, yes. We're, so listen, thank you all for, I, I could go on with this conversation. We probably will go on with this conversation afterwards. Thank you very much for joining us on The Facts. Good night. That was good. Yeah, yeah we're done.